So, uh, here I am. It's November 7th. I'm on the Huron River in a little pond that's next to the river. I've left the U of M football team battling Purdue. They were up by 14 points, so I figure that's good enough excuse to take advantage of this beautiful day. And right now I'm sitting on this pond and I'm a little stuck because I'm it's very shallow. So I'm going to have to uh, sort of muscle my way out of this little predicament. But it's well worth the effort. And here's some turtles sunning themselves on a rock. I'm having trouble seeing because it's very bright out here. If I make my way towards them, they might sort of scatter. This is uh, the northern uh, section of uh, the pond. And uh, right here, here we have a little statue. And people have... Uh, have placed these little stone statues up and down the, the river, which is sort of neat, I think. Well, this is here on River Drive. So it's a very scenic place to ride your bicycle or run or even take a drive in your motorcycle. So we're at the north end of uh, Argo Pond. Argo Pond is um, made by Argo Dam. But the dam we're looking at here <coughs> is Barton Dam. Barton Dam uh, makes Barton Pond, which is above Argo Pond. And there's a controversy about whether Argo Dam will need to be torn down for the health of the river. So, and I think I just saw a fish jump in there. Okay, so this explains the fish story. You designed it and built it yourself, huh? Yeah. How long did it take you to... architect by education. So okay. <laughs> that's the basic part of it. Now well, here's the uh, bridge that the Amtrak goes over. Oh, I think I hear the train right now. As it turns out, this is a bridge that uh, is also popular for kids to jump off. I'm not sure they all know that the train comes though.
nice little collection of statues. The local duck seems to be enjoying those. I have noticed that uh, the foliage and the trees along the, the river tends to stay greener in the typical forest setting. I suppose that's because of the water. <laughs> 